finally, we install desktop integration Siebel agent. So we have downloaded the DSA installer. We're extracting it. And we run the DSA installer. You don't have to run it as administrator because it's actually pre-configured to do so. And this is a fresh DSA installation. So we specify the folder. We have the, accept the default port number. And in the allow list, you have to specify all the combinations that could be in your browser address bar. So we specify localhost, the server name FQDN without, without the domain. Uh, DSA generates its own certificate because it's using a secure protocol. Uh, so we can just specify dummy information, let's say, for that. Or we could uh, specify a real uh, key store that it uses. So we're just fine with that dummy information here. accepting defaults here and run the installer. So again, imagine this is a desktop machine, your developer desktop or a user desktop or machine you use for testing. You wouldn't install these unnecessarily on a server machine. Uh, this is running. You can right click the icon to see the version number. Don't exit it now. We want to give it a quick test. Let's kick the tires here. So we can log into any Siebel application that has an attachment view. We are using call center here. So let's navigate to a view where we have attachments. Let's drill down on an account here, go to the attachments view. And let's create a new test attachment. Just click new file, create a dummy file, and upload it. So now you can already see D size responding because the view files button or the edit button when you click the drill down comes to life and it only comes to life if the client can communicate with DISA really and of course the edit button opens the file so we can just update the file let's say DISA is or seems to be okay and if we close and save it and click finish it uploads the updated Let's verify with few files. There we go. So DISA is fully operational on this system, uh, which is good. Uh, the reason why DISA is actually working here is we are connecting to an existing Siebel database, which has, or the repository in that database, has a correct application user property. and. This is a bonus track, so let's check out that user property. And we use Siebel Web Tools to do so. So uh, for each application, actually, if you look up the applications and we are using Call Center, aka Universal Agent, uh, need to show the application user properties. And look for, so, in a fresh installation, you might or might not have this, or in an upgrade, you definitely do not have this file download save user property set to either a value of all or a semicolon separated list of file extensions that are allowed for DISA to download. So make sure you are aware and your developers are aware of this application user property for DISA. And this is the end of our demonstration. Thanks for watching. Take care and bye-bye.